Hi there, my name is Alexandra and I'm a mechanical engineer working in the aerospace field on space vehicles. First off, I want to start off by welcoming you to this feminist network. Alright, in this video I want to address a question I get asked all the time. Do you need to be good at math to be an engineer? If you find the information I'm about to share with you helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get down to business. The simple answer to the question is no. You do not need to be good at math to become an engineer. At the end of the video though, I will tell you a surprising math class that you will use most throughout your career. And trust me, you'll be happy with that answer. Okay, first off, when you think about why we go to school, you'll likely come to the conclusion that we go to learn. Therefore, you do not need to show up to college on your first day as a self-made mathematician. All you are expected to arrive as is as someone who is willing to learn. Most engineering majors are required to take about five math classes in between calculus and differential equations. Think about it, just five math classes. Do you know how fast time flies in college? Now I promise that after taking those five classes, the payoff and the reward is high. Whether you end up liking the classes or not, you are going to be so happy and so proud of yourself for completing those classes. Think about all the cool things you can work on when you have your degree. Rockets, cars, artificial intelligence, you name it and an engineer has probably been involved. Now on to some more good news. Most engineering jobs do not require the use of those math classes you took in college on a daily basis. In college, you will find yourselves doing proofs, which is the mathematical way to prove that a certain statement or theorem is correct. You will not be asked to do that at about 99% of the engineering jobs out there. Instead, you will use the foundation of what you learned in those math classes. In school, you'll find yourselves doing math problems probably by hand. Sometimes these problems can take anywhere from two to three pages long, depending on having to set up, let's say, a free body diagram and the correct equation. But I have some more good news for you. At work, you'll have a software that can do this for you. Isn't that awesome? For example, let's say you have to use Bernoulli's equation to calculate the velocity of a steady fluid flow. This is commonly used in aerospace engineering. Well, in school, you'll find yourself doing this by hand, but at work, you'll have a software program that can do it for you. Now, it is key to remember that as a professional, you will most likely be using the principles and the logic behind those math lessons you had in college. You often won't even realize that you're using these principles, but what matters is that you have that strong foundation that allows you to A, understand the software you're using, and B, understand the results you're given. Engineering in a nutshell is basically the ability for you to use your critical thinking skills to logically solve problems. Now I do have some good news for those of you who do like math. There are various jobs out there for you, such as becoming a stress analyst or a researcher. A researcher can often find themselves developing those softwares to help people out for those that aren't that good at math. Now onto the big reveal. What is that math class you'll find yourself using most throughout your engineering career? Algebra. You took this course in high school and throughout college, you will work on strengthening your algebra skills. Therefore, I have full confidence that you can excel in your engineering career. Now the question is, are you willing to stick through those math classes for your dream job? Drop your answer in the comments below. Quick reminder to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more engineering related content. Thank you for watching.